from down at East Pinball. Are those instruction cards done? Well, that's just great. What a beautiful... I can't, you know, I have to do everything myself. Come with me. Come, come, come. We are Ew. in a rush. We are showing you a game. There it is. I was looking all over for this. Look, my mug is one of those elf mugs. Christmas time, the four of our family and a little baby we were babysitting. One of those make, make your own mug picture things. Enough for that. I'm going to show you this most beautiful, most beautiful pinball in the world that Jason just finished. 3,500 of these were made, Jason. Did you know that? No, but I'll tell you what, this is the nicest one. That's right. The nicest one. Look, custom art glass. The original, we had one. We had one left. The original topper that Data East sold with the game. Uh, we have now let uh, Jason or Frank, one, which one? Somebody came up with the idea of lighting it with blue 12 volt lights from the local auto car shop. <laughs> Doesn't that look sharp? And of course, we filled the play field with LEDs, the three color ones. Uh, three, three, three LED ones. No, one color, but three. They're, so they're super bright. And Jason has done a wonderful new mod. Can anybody see? Anybody see where it is? Tony, can you zoom in on that mod? You don't know what to zoom in on, do you? He doesn't know. Look, right here. My Jason has decided to light the crowd up. Never lit before. But it is now lit here. And he's lighting up our upper play field, courtesy of these two LEDs with bendies in them. Uh, by the way, bendies is trademarked by my Jason. That's right. And uh, gosh, we, we also decked this out with uh, special speakers. I'm going to show you now that you can order yourself from Pinball Pro. Let's open the back up. We have high, super bright LEDs here. And inside, I'll show you those speakers. Pinball Pro supplies these speakers. We just have a little uh, installation dust to remove. We still have to do our final vacuum. Actually, we're delivering this in about 20 minutes. There is that inside speaker. Uh, we've already updated the battery here. Look, we're now using a cell that can be easily changed, a lithium cell, at home. We've put new connectors on that burned up over the years, but now they'll never burn up again because, as you know, LEDs do not burn up the connectors. And, of course, we reflowed solder on all the points on the board. Inside is super clean. Uh, Jason, get that vacuum, young man. Get all vacuum. The LED <laughs> yes, he had to add it. Oh, let me show you what he did. Very cleverly, the LEDs are patched into the 12 volts over here, and they go up through a hole that he drilled in here. Mm -hmm. And the lights under here are patched into a connector here. So if you had to unplug these, yep. say, and take and that out, you can. Everything comes apart. We like everything we're stored the plugs. That makes it so nice and neat. And aren't we waiting on the instruction cards from Franklin? He's always neat. That's why he's not filming. He's in there doing instruction cards. Oh, my God. Everybody's in a dither. We're trying to get this out along with everything else. Listen, I, 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 you know, I'm right next to you. I can hear you. That's look, look what he's doing. Look what that boy is doing here. That's the whole point. Panatera is coming along beautifully. We've had to repaint our orange, but uh, Stephen, obviously, you know, with us, we take everything off the play field so we can make sure the job is done correctly. <laughs> Haven't done any of the bulbs yet. Look at, look at some of the bulbs are. Are black and see how cruddy it is back here. Oh boy, the cabinet looks terrific. Stephen has gone out of his way on this one. How about you, Stephen? Look at that side art. It glistens. Anyway, back to She's this game. She's a butte, Clark. Back to this game. We've got to. We've got to hurry. Rumbling that does have built into it a rumble motor. I understand some people took them out, but boy, it's a great effect. It really rumbles nicely. Can you hear the bass? 
That's from the Pinball Pro speaker. It's literally a subwoofer. Unbelievably great sound. And you have an unbelievably great player, which is me. Yeah. Now, yeah. we've also protected all the plastics with our clear washers. So the plastics on this, nothing is ever going to happen in this play field. This machine is going to stay like new for the rest of its life. One of the things Jason had to do, all three pop bumpers, uh, Data East used plastics. Uh, plastic housings, all three are brand new. We had to change them. We had to rebuild the flippers with a boatload of new parts. We had to do so much stuff on this to make it perfect. But the customer who's getting this game is going to be so happy. You know, I don't know why this game wasn't big. Uh, this was one of the games that was closed down too. Our distributor closed it out. I don't remember the price. We didn't buy one. I always like this shot. See this shot right here? When you hit this, it actually hits the pop bumper. Rather than put a coil up there, the pop bumper shoots it back. Really clever stuff. Of course, you, you make your tag shots. Stickers, brand new drop targets, of course. Playfield looks, gosh, it looks perfect. It really does. Beautiful. Yeah. But, yeah. where are the instruction yeah. cards? Yeah. I didn't forget the most important part of all, right? The, see those? Yes. Some people don't like them. It's tough. Wow. I can do anything I want. Pinball Expo in two months. I've been invited to do a seminar. I'm going to do a seminar about pinball machines, of course. And I'm doing a special tribute to Nolan Bushnell, the founder of Atari. Yeah, yeah. Two special events at the Pinball Expo in October. You better get your tickets now. We'll expect to see you there. Do we have anything else to cover? You know, this reminds me, I don't know if you're aware of this, Tony. Were you aware that I was actually on the WWF wrestling uh, stage? Were you aware of that, Jason? Yeah, you're on buddy. Earthquake. You know what? I have some footage. Let me flash back to that footage and we'll see you another time.